Skills 12. A. A principal wants to order. A principal wants to order certificates for six grade levels at his campus. Each grade level needs about 2,945 certificates for the entire school year, which is the best estimate of the number of certificates that he should order for the six grade levels. So we underline our question and read it again. Question is, which is the best estimate of the number of certificates that he should order for the six grade levels? So we are going to estimate we are solving for six grade levels. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the number of certificates. So let's look at for let's look at our information. So they want to order certificates for six grade levels. Each grade level, so every grade level needs about 2,945. So we know we are going to estimate. We're going to estimate before we solve. So let's see the get strategy. Divide, divide, and then multiply. So our G groups, what are we solving for? How many groups am I solving for? We're here. Well, here we are solving for six grade levels. So I'm going to put six grade levels. That's what I'm solving for. What do I know about each grade level? Well, it said here that each grade level needs 2,945. So then we are going to, our operation is going to be to multiply. We are going to multiply. Before we multiply, we are going to round our 2,945. So let's underline our thousands, please. Two, we look at the number to the right, which is a nine. Less than five, we our number stays the same. Five or more, we add one more. So nine is more than five, so I'm going to add one more. Two plus one is three, so I'm going to write a three right here. And then all the numbers to the right are zeros. So. 2,945 rounds to 3,000. So when I look for my total, I am going to multiply 3,000 times six. Here we are using our trailing zero. So we're gonna circle our trailing zeros. We're gonna multiply three times six. So three times six is 18. And then we're gonna bring over our three trailing zeros. My answer is 18,000, 18,000 certificates. Letter B, Mrs. Salazar makes picture frames to sell for $8 each. Last year, she sold 11,340 frames, which is the best estimate of the amount of money she earned. So we want to find, let's underline our question, and our question is, which is the best estimate of the amount of money she earned. So we're looking for the best estimate. Again, we're going to estimate, we're going to round, and we're looking for the amount of money she earned, the amount of money that she earned. So we know that um, she sells the frames for $8 each, and she sold 11,340 frames. So we're going to use our get strategy. Our groups, each, how, what do we know about each group? And then here we solve for, our, when we're solving for a total, we're multiplying. So we're looking for, let's find our groups. How many groups am I solving for? Well, I'm solving for 11,340 frames. What do I know about each frame? Well, I know that each frame costs $8. So I'm going to go ahead and put for each frame is $8. So we are estimating. So I'm going to estimate 11,340. And then we're going to find our total. So let's look 
there are 10,000 slaves. Look at the number to the right. It is a one. So is it zero, one, two, three, four? Stays the same, or is it five, six, seven, eight, or nine? Well, it's a one, so it's less than five. So your number stays the same. So this rounds to one, and everything after are zeros, right? So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four. So my number is 10,000. And eight, what am I gonna do with those two numbers? I am going to multiply. So I'm gonna write 10,000 times eight equals blank. Well, circle your trading zeros. Here are all my trading zeros. I'm gonna multiply one times eight. One times eight equals eight. And then I'm going to bring over one, two, three, four. I'm gonna attach my four zeros. One, two, three, four. One's tens, hundreds, comma. My answer is $80,000. Go ahead and work on numbers one and two on your own. Make sure you estimate and use the get strategy.